This is Jen's diesel heater. We're going to check it out and see if we can get some power to it, see if it works before we install it. Make sure everything's in the box. Okay. <clears throat> what we got here is the pump. You need to do that. Here is your key fob. Oh, they've even changed the look of that. And this is the thermostat. We need to, we need that. Yeah, if you can just hold that on there. Mm -hmm. This is the actual unit itself. The power. See, th this is that rubber thing I was telling you about. Oh, that. That, that okay. can go right against flat on the, f and that, then it's all sealed. Then it will be sealed. But, oh, beautiful. Nice. This comes off, this is where the air comes in, and this is where the air goes out. Nice. So, beautiful. So, it's just like a motorcycle engine. This is where the heat is burnt in here, that's a glow plug. Oh, wow. And the heat is burnt in here and comes in and goes out. And then this fan turns and blows air over over this thing that's going to get hot. Oh. And hot air comes out of there. Nice. So, okay. Let's put this back. And the rest of the stuff is in the other box. everything that you need comes with the unit so the hose the exhaust and that's your thing that comes out of out of the end of there and has this on the end of it mm -hmm. and then you can point this in any direction you want to now it should spin easier than that Exhaust pipe. Okay. Intake. Mounting brackets and the fuel filters in here. So it looks like everything's here, but all we have to do is hook it up. <coughs> okay, this is where we're gonna put the unit underneath the bed here. And it'll be sticking out about this far here and it's perfectly clear underneath and then the thermostat is going to go up on this wall up here somewhere in here and I guess the pump we can put outside underneath the vehicle oh. I think so it's not so noisy that would be great. if we can put it on somewhere out there I'll have to see Okay, we're good. All right, we have a bit of a mess here, but we've got her so far. There's the two holes. I don't know if you can see that. There's two holes there where we're going to put the mount the unit. We've got that part on. We're going to run the hoses that go outside through those holes. Uh, screw them to the walls there. And then we will run the hose and the pump outside and then come back in with the with the hose this hose here to the unit. So we'll uh, catch you up when we get there. Yeah. Okay, we've almost got this finished. Just got to hook up the power now and put the fuel in. And I think we're ready to go. I'm just mounting the muffler underneath uh, the in intake and the out outlet so we'll mount that and then we're going to run the power up up along here up there and tie into that uh, fan up there so we're going to need some wire to get up there other than that we are just about done we've got it all wired all the way up to here it's mounted 
ready to go. <laughs> Are you just filming that then? Yeah. Okay, because I'm going to put my bed back together. When yeah, well, once you, once you get it all back together, I'll film some more. Well, you won't see it though. No, I know. But I'm, I'll just show that how it's complete. And everything's back in order. Oh, E8. So it's... Oh, but it's ready to go now again. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, and then we'll turn it up to... Oops. Six. There. And here's Jen's inside of her. This is a Ford, Ford um, Transit. Ford Transit. Ford Transit. Transit. Ford Transit. Very high top. Very high top. <laughs> oh. Your fan still works. Good. So it, that's where this tied in. And you can hide your wider better if you need to be. Okay, great. Yes. We're all done. It works. Thank sort you. of. Six, we're still getting primed, but it will go. It will work. It will. We have confidence. We have <laughs> great. Thank you, Wayne. Okay, don't forget your cord here, too. Your cord. I'll put it back in. So, great. Okay, you can start building your bed back again. I will do that. Fantastic. Okay. All right, thank you, Wayne. Yeah. We'll check everything out. Okay, the next uh, installation is Yvonne's uh, Kodiak here. Quite a big unit, but it just had absolutely no place to put this uh, unit. We've been looking all over the place here. Where do we put it? Under the bed or behind the seats or... Finally, we mounted it in the kitchen area, just right on the floor in the open. Uh, there was no other place, so Eddie's just putting in the final screws here on the bottom. I guess you got to live with where it is. And then... Yeah, and the screws are so close to the wall behind. And the fuel tank is just above the unit, hanging on the wall there. So that's that's the method there. Sorry I didn't take any more video of this one. And this is uh, Carol's unit. Sorry I didn't take too much video of the last two installs here. Once I got to work on them, uh, it's... It, Time rolled by and they were all finished, so uh, just got little bits and pieces of, of the install. Carol's wanted to be a uh, totally portable unit where you stick the hoses out the window and, and uh, turn the unit. She didn't want to drill holes in the floor, so we just st stick the exhaust hose out the window and point the heater part inside toward the back. Actually, it turned out pretty good.